Hi guys, my name is Brady and welcome back to the classroom. Today we've got a really great episode talking about some really great stuff, but before we get into that, if you find this video interesting or any of the other videos on my page interesting, please hit that like button and the subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. So, one of the most frequently asked questions that I get is, what's a first light to get? So, I thought it's about time to put together this video talking about what a great first light is and why. A lot of the times people ask, should I get a panel light? Should I get tube lights? Should I get a cob light? Whatever a cob light is. Well, in my opinion, the best light to get is a cob light, meaning chip on board light or a single source light like you see here. And we're gonna get into that in a second. So my first light actually was one of those lights. It's this exact light here, an Aperture 120D Mark II. And this 120D is great for a very diverse amount of reasons. One of the main ones being that it has a Bowens mount adapter on the front of it. And Bowens mount is very universal, meaning that it's just a universal style of mount for light modifiers to get a lot of different purposes out of your light source. So it's very easy to just slide in here, pop it in, twist it, and you're good to go. You can pop it off, switch it out for anything else, and we're gonna talk about that in a second. So, a light like this with a Bowens mount, obviously the 120D isn't the only option to choose from. Something similar, output and size, uh, like a, about 150 watts. So you're looking at like an Aperture 120D Mark I or Mark II, or Godox will make an SL or a VL150, that might be similar. Nanlite's gonna have their version, I think the Forza 200 might be pretty comparable. So something in that range, which is kind of a low end daylight fixture, but it's still gonna pack quite a punch for the size that you're gonna be getting. So you might be asking me, well, Brady, with a panel light like you see the Nova back there, you have RGB, you have bicolor, it's soft as it is already. And that's true, I love that light. It's maybe one of my favorite lights, but we're looking at just a first light option here. Say we're working on a budget, we're just getting into it, seeing if we like the lighting side of things. That's why something like this is gonna be so beneficial. And it's all coming back down to the Bowens mounts. So let's talk about that for a second. With a reflector dish like you see here, this comes standard with almost every light that's gonna be out there. This is gonna take your light and bounce it forward in a pretty straight on direction. It's gonna be a little bit wide of a spread, but it's gonna be pretty focused on in there. But say you don't want a hard light. Why do we ever want hard light? Well, you've got so many different options. Say you wanna do interviews, you wanna do a talking head, something that's similar to this here. Well, that's where you get the option to add in a light dome. You can throw on a light dome on the front of that. And now you've got a really large soft source to work with and you can soften your light up. But say you wanna fill the room that you're working with with a lot of ambient brightness. Well, let's take that, put that there. Then you might want something like a lantern. A lantern is white all around. So it's the same material as the front of the soft box, but it's gonna spread light throughout the entire room. So that's another option where you can modify your light source, but it gets better. You've got a Fresnel. So a Fresnel goes to the complete opposite direction as the softbox or the lantern would be. A lot smaller too. But you're gonna slap that right on the front of it. And now you've got a really focused light. Actually, we got a Fresnel up there as well. So that's something that's really gonna focus your light in. And it's gonna be a very hard source of light because it's taking this diode that is right there and it's taking all of that light and focusing it in here and then projecting it all in the same direction. So you've got the option of a Fresnel mount as well. Or another option that you've got to work with is barn, really? Take two. Another option that you've got to work with is barn doors that you can just throw straight on the front of your reflector dish. So with the barn doors on the front of this, you've got the ability to control your light source and flag things off. If you don't want it to spill throughout the frame, you can bend in the barn doors. Or additionally, you can add in a honeycomb grid to that and control the light even more. So now you're really focusing in that light. Add that onto the front of the Fresnel as well with the barn doors, you've got more modification. So with all of these different modifications, you now have the ability to have a very soft source of light, a very hard source of light, shape it, modify it however you please, but that still doesn't answer the question of, that has bicolor and RGB options, one of these may not. Well, there's another solution to that, and it's a pretty easy solution in my opinion, and I use them for so long, is color gels. Color gels are a great option for modifying your light in 
many different ways. So now, if you wanna go for that bicolor option and maybe warm things up, you can pull out an orange gel, something like that, a color temperature orange gel, and slap that over. Or you wanna switch it up and go the other direction, you can go in the direction of a CTB, color temperature blue gel. Or you wanna throw on some, let's say, what, what color is this? Or you wanna throw on some, some pink. You wanna get some pink going on in there, you just take that and obviously barn doors probably wouldn't be on there. But you can slap that right on the front as well. So now a daylight single source fixture like this chip on board light has now become the most diverse light that you're gonna have in your kit. You're gonna have a soft white light, you're gonna have a hard white light, you can have a hard or a soft colored light and plenty of different options to work with all in this one little package. And I worked with this for so, so long, probably about a better part of a year before I was like, okay, I need a little bit more lighting here, but I really worked between the gels and a couple modifiers like a soft box and this reflector dish. I had all that I needed for 90% of my projects. So the long answer to your very short question of what's a great first light to get, my answer is still going to be either a chip on board, a 120D, doesn't have to be a 120D, but something similar is going to get you all of these options to work with and really open up many, many opportunities moving forward. I do wanna say that I'm gonna leave links down below to all of these products in the description. Affiliate links, they help me out a little bit to keep the channel going, but it's not gonna be any extra cost to you and it'll honestly just be easier to access all of these products so you don't have to go searching for all of them. So once again, that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this. If it is entertaining or interesting or whatever adjective you would like to choose, share it, like it, subscribe. But anyway, thank you so much. Take care, have a great rest of your day and class dismissed.